Hello, and welcome to Customers Talk HiCon, where we bring your questions to our customers. Today's question is one that we hear all the time. How is digital die cutting different from analog? Does it do the job? Any concerns about discoloration, smell, crease quality, consistency, or stripping? Today, we'll be hearing from four experienced HiCon customers. But before we dive in, a quick overview of HiCon. We provide digital die cutting and creasing systems for folding carton and corrugated manufacturers. Our proprietary dark technology uses 3D printing for crease lines and we cut with lasers. It's tool free, reducing wait time and cost. Plus, it's a low carbon footprint solution because you don't have to wait for the die. So now, back to the main question. How is digital die cutting different from analog? Does it do the job? First, Insights from Linny, who installed the Hikon Beam 2 system in 2020. So yes, they can be hazing, and actually we can design um, to the capabilities of machining to our overall process as well. So what our designers have learned to do is not to have lots of clear um, materials actually where we're doing lots of, lots of complex cutting. So, um, you know, I know certain Hikon customers will be using um, craft material, which doesn't show any kind of scorch marks. And, and for us, it's, it's worked um, stunningly well. Um, and so much so, you know, down to carton boards we produce, um, we produce this um, as kind of a little bit of out of a norm for us, but this was part of a retail display that one of our clients wanted as part of um, um, a layout in, in a shop design. Um, and you can see the complexity on this. It's on a white material, but it's on it's on carton board and it's, it's cut fine for us and for our customers' needs. The Lexon Group, a Hikon customer for seven years, highlights the benefits of laser cutting. It, it is definitely an issue, but as long as you, as long as we, we've been doing this a long time, so when we're talking to clients, we're saying we are burning paper, but we're saving the environment, we're saving you money, um, you, you can personalize it. Uh, there are all these other benefits. So all we suggest is that you design the item to minimize the effect. Um, so, you know, I've got certain customers, I've got cosmetic customers, cosmetic um, producers, and they will not have laser cut. They just absolutely, and that's absolutely fine. You say that's fine. It's going to be it will, will conventionally die cut and we mark our works instructions up to say this job must be conventionally die cut. But everybody else, we, we work around it. Now let's briefly explore Hikon's dart creasing technology. Unlike conventional die cutting, dart doesn't use a female. Instead, creasing rules press into a special flexible counter blanket. Crease functionality like folding force and spring back matches conventional methods allowing high-con processed packages to seamlessly pass through folder gluers and filling lines. Virtual Packaging shares their initial concerns from their 2019 high-con investment, while the box maker discusses quality. There was concerns at the beginning because it was new, it was different. But after enough testing and seeing enough samples, I mean, we knew it was, it was gonna fulfill what our needs, what our needs were at the time. You guys have uh, modified the crease, it wasn't, uh, when we first got it, there was only one type of crease. Uh, we can do different heights now, dip, dif uh, different depths now, uh, thicknesses that, you know, we can play with when we're talking about different types of substrates, as well as different thicknesses of substrates. The biggest thing from a quality standpoint, it's extremely consistent. Um, more so than even analog die cutting, because the amount of pressure on the board is is um, you know non-existent if you will and so something like the locking tabs on a mailer they always work the box always stays closed it's you know it's uh in traditional die cutting um you know if you, if you just impact the board just a little bit more um all of a sudden they don't want to stay closed you know you get a different scoring or a different uh, level of pressure. And um, now you end up selling a piece of tape or a, a label to help close that uh, outside lock, right? And with laser, we really don't see that type of variable. Um, as long as we're using the correct CAD styles, um, we get a very 
consistent, high quality box out of laser. We're frequently asked about the smell of laser cut board. While you might be concerned about customer acceptance, the odor naturally fades quickly. And for a faster solution, Hikon offers an odor extraction unit to promptly eliminate the scent. Let's hear from Linny, who also had questions at the beginning whether this would be an issue. So as probably everybody does on, on flute and material, we, we did the sniff test on the laser cutting. So that was a, um, a bit of a concern to us about look, what would um, our prospective clients feel if we were taking one of our prototypes down to a boardroom in London and, um, and, the, and the, there's a burn smell. But, you know, we, down the line, that wasn't a problem. We got around that was an extraction unit, which was provided by Icon, which I think we, we hardly ever use, if we're honest now, because um, we don't need it by the time this product, um, when it ships, it's been, um, you know, stood in our warehouse for a day. It's then been transported across the country. It's not the problem we thought it was. Finally, wondering how Icon handles stripping? Unlike conventional systems, Hikon's approach removes the need for stripping tools. Laser cutting detaches waste and any remaining residuals are brushed off in the stripping unit. This innovative approach saves on die costs and reduces change over time, eliminating the need to buy, set up or store a separate stripping tool. The Hikon has really fitted in as a, as a general workhorse. It's, it's, it does as much conventional die cutting as our uh, conventional die cutting machines used to do. Um, it's quite surprised us. I probably didn't think that when it was installed that we'd be using it for standard die cutting work. I didn't expect we'd use it for long run work, but it's just it's just turned out that way, um, partly due to the fact that we haven't got any um, automated stripping here. Um, so the Hikon being able to if you like vacuum away um, the the waste or weed weed the particular jobs or certain jobs saved an awful lot of time. Um, so conventional jobs where we'd normally have a cutting form long run stuff, um, even though it would probably be quicker to conventionally die cut, the stripping time uh, was just too it was too labour intensive. So we'd make a decision to put a job through the high con rather than conventional die cutting just to do with with stripping. Thanks to our partners at Linny, Lexon, The Box Maker and Virtual Packaging for sharing their insights. And thank you for joining this second episode of Customers Talk Hikon. If you have any further questions or need additional information, please feel free to visit our website at www.hikon.net or send us an email to info at hikon.net. Goodbye and thank you for your time and attention and have a wonderful day.